The endoscopist will have to do many things. One of them is to learn to detect the lesions. And the second thing will be to, to learn to characterize them in order to, to see if this lesion has a potential of malignancy and if this potential of malignancy goes inside the submucosa in a deeper or a le less deeper way to uh, be able to uh, decide the best treatment for this patient and to avoid doing what happened in this uh, slide. As you can see, a small lesion that was like a small polyp and was an invasive, invasive carcinoma that was removed by polypectomy, but the treatment was not curative, so the patient had to underwent uh, surgery after this. In that sense, um, endoscopy has uh, many ancillary techniques that will help us to do all those things. The first one is chromondoscopy, which is a very widely used and very variable uh, used technique. And that it's very simple. It just um, it is to, to, to use a dye to, to better delimitate the, the lesions. And then the second one that we will talk about is electronic chromondoscopy, which um, what we do is to play with the, 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 the light of the endoscope and and being able also to enhance lesions, as you can see here in the picture. There are other techniques, but I won't go into them because we don't have time to do it. So uh, for chromondoscopy, what we do is, for example, as you can see here, we see this very subtle lesion, which is a small depressed lesion, and we see that the vascular pattern is interrupted. So we have the suspicious that there can be something here. Then we apply the dye. In this case, we apply indigo carmine, which is a uh, a non-absorptive dye, it's just a contrast dye that what this dye will do is to, to improve the, the, the small, the subtle changes in the mucosa and like this we, we will be able to see this lesion which is a flat, flat lesion that in the center is a little bit depressed and we even can see a little and small a lesion which is just um, along this big lesion and this lesion was a T1 carcinoma in the colon. Here we have another example. You can see in this austra that there is a, li a little reddish thing. And when we apply the chromondoscopy with indigo carmine, we can see that there is a lateral spreading tumor, a polyp, which is in that case a benign polyp. But if we didn't use the chromondoscopy, we probably would miss this lesion and uh, we could have an interval cancer in this patient. Chromondoscopy is also very useful to improve margins recognition because sometimes we have this kind of lesion, which is a sessile polyp, but we, what we have to see is that along this uh, sessile polyp, there is a big polyp. This is, was a rectal um, lesion, a serrated lesion, and if we just remove endoscopically the, the sessile lesion, we, we, we wouldn't cure the patient.